One of the questions I get asked the most is how can you tell if a record's gonna sound good before you even open it and listen to it? I'm talking about modern records, of course. Now, it's hidden a lot of the time. A lot of labels don't tell you exactly where the records are coming from. I'm here to tell you the best ways to figure out how a record's gonna sound before buying it. As I mentioned in the intro, a lot of labels don't tend to go forward and say these are from the original master tapes, or this is all analog, and that's because that doesn't apply for a lot of labels. So you're getting a modern record, let's say something released in 2010. Likelihood is that it's probably digitally sourced, but you never know. There are a couple different ways to find out if these records are going to sound amazing and come to life on vinyl, and a lot of them aren't super obvious, so I'm here to tell you the best ways I've found. The first is to check the hype sticker. A lot of labels will use 180 gram or mastered for vinyl on the hype sticker, which more or less are buzzwords. They're nice and good, but mastered for vinyl might just mean it's a digital master and not going to have that warm analog sound. 180 gram more or less means nothing. For me, it usually means it's more likely to be warped when I open it. If a label says AAA or fully analog or from the original master tapes, you can pretty much bet that those are going to be amazing. And if it has the original master recording label on top, it's from Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs, you know those are going to be great too. But here are my three tips if you're going to pull away and kind of do some research about what the record is before buying it. The first is to check out the Steve Hoffman forums. I've talked about them a few times. I don't really post there, but I do scour them for information a lot. These are just a bunch of dudes who love sound. They're audiophiles, and they're not really pretentious about it, they just love to talk about it. If you search for a record that you want to buy and search the forums for it, you're likely to find a thread where it's at least mentioned, or possibly even a thread dedicated to it. These guys will dissect it, telling you if it sounds good, if it's analog, they go back and forth about whether or not to buy certain pressings. It's a really good resource that is highly underutilized by the vinyl community. The second thing is to just go to the Discogs listing for it and look at the comments. Not every single listing has comments, but the ones that do will often give their experience. Now, take it with a grain of salt. Some people are going to be throwing these on Crosleys and be like, they sound like crap. Well, that's a given. You want to look for trends and see if people are like, this pressing's amazing after four or five comments. The best way to know if a record sounds good is to get a secondhand opinion. And a lot of people on Discogs like to lend it. So go to any record specific pressing and look and see what people say about it and know that it can differ pressing to pressing depending on how each one was mastered. So go for the version you're looking for and hopefully people are talking about it. And the final way is a site that I discovered called the Dynamic Range Database. Now this doesn't have every record ever made, but they have a surprising amount. They don't just have records, they also have CDs and I believe digital files too. But what you can do is actually type in the record you're looking for and a list will populate of all the versions of that record that have been cataloged on the site. It is a scale of dynamic range, so you can see just how much it is in the green or the red in terms of the quality. More in the green, you know that dynamic range is going to be amazing, it's going to sound beautiful. In the red, it might sound a little muddy and maybe not worth your time. I found a ton of records on here that have either persuaded me to go buy it or deterred me. I highly recommend this link and I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check it out. Those are my best ways to figure out if a record's going to sound good before buying it. I wish it was more obvious, but sometimes you got to just take a risk. A lot of modern stuff is going to be digitally sourced and for collectors like me, that's fine because I just want to own it for part of my collection, but it's amazing when you find those pressings that are analog and just blow you away. If you've used any of these methods, leave a comment let me know what you think. And if you have any other ways that I don't know about, also leave a comment. I would love to find other ways to discover amazing pressings. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to Too Many Records. More videos soon. Take it easy.